Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the wonderful world of Nest.js and more specifically, we'll be talking about serialization. Now if you are new to Nest.js or just need a refresher, serialization is a crucial concept when it comes to the transforming data within your application. But before we jump in, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any future tutorials. Alright, let's get started. Now assuming you got Nest.js installed, let's create a new Nest.js project. Now let's dive into the serialization magic. Nest.js comes with a powerful serialization library called class transformer and class validator. So use them, install them with npm install class transformer and class validator. First of all, let's create the entity folder and the sample user.entity.ts file. And let's include appropriate attributes for the user entity. As serialization technique, don't forget to use exclude for sensitive stuff like passwords. Next, we'll create the constructor for this. In app.control.ts file, remove the unnecessary code and import the user entity file. Let's create a sample user data. After we run the project, I will use Postman to check our endpoint. You can see now, their password is in the response. Ok, time for the magic touch. Just import class serialized interceptor to our endpoint controller. Now you can see the password attribute is disappeared from the response. Now let's talk about the expose property and I'll show you an example to get the full name of the user. And now let's check the response and there it is. I'll also demonstrate getting the user age from the user's birthday.
Now you can see the age is in the response now. Now let's moving on to the transform property and let's create another entity file for user role. And now I'm going to import transform property and returns the name property of the role entity. Now let's add a role to user sample data and see. There you can see the role in the response. If you want to use class serializer intercept for all the endpoint in the controller, you can import the class serializer intercept to app.module.ts file. It's that simple. Alright everyone, I hope you found the tutorial is helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the content and of course subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future tutorials. And thanks for hanging out with me today and until next time happy coding and see you in the next video.